I'm Matt Williamson. Welcome to L'Hotel de Urse and our quick tour of our petite city of character, Mayen. Uh, today we're sitting in front of the Bajik Hau, which is the courthouse administration centre for the city. Let's get Vanessa to focus up on the top of the tower. You can see at the top of the tower there's a uh, statue of justice. Now, unusually in France, it's a male, and normally female. It's actually uh, the statue of Duc de Mayenne, Armand de la Melleray, who had the uh, statue built. It's a, the sword, the scales of justice, the sword of uh, symbol of authority, and the dove is his wisdom. And just below that is the clock, the city clock, and that was erected in 1690. The building was built between 1660 and 1668, and uh, it was the court justice for the whole region. If we go back up to the top on the left-hand side, you will see the Mazarin coat of arms. In the middle of the building, you'll see the liberty, egality, and fraternity, symbols of the revolution of France, and on the right, the coat of arms of the city of Mayenne. Back to the clock pieces, the uh, left one is the sundial and it's, uh, and the right is the meridian, having symbols of the Freemasonry, the square, the compass and the mirror globe. On the left hand side, quote, quotes are from St. Luke and Unam time, meaning one hour only. And the right hand side, Quahora non putas then it, the hour you did not think will come. The uh, building was used during the revolution for the courts and Louis de Ursay, who was born in our house, purchased it after the revolution from the Duke of Mayenne. And then uh, he then became the first mayor of Mayenne. And in 1830, donated it to the city. It remained as a city uh, administration until 1979, and then uh, it became uh, our centre for learning and everything. We do our French lessons there and what have you. And it's uh, where the marriages of the city are still occur here in the salons, and everyone comes out the front and celebrates. So thanks again for joining us. We'll hopefully see you again tomorrow. Au revoir.